today we are at the church of Santa Croce. Santa Croce in Jerusalem. That means Holy Cross of Jerusalem. Bless you. Today I'm with Lily, Amelia, and Estella, my goddaughter, showing her a couple churches. Uh, this church is one of my favorites. It's very significant because this church has the relics of Christ. Do you know who Jesus is, Estella? <laughs> I'm a great godfather. She says no to everything, by the way. Do you know my name? Do you know your name? Okay, good. Okay, so uh, we need to go back 2,000 years to when Christ was crucified. We know that he died on a what? Cross. Yes. Where? Do you know where he died, Lily? Jerusalem. Jerusalem, yes. So he died on a hill on a cross. There was a guy on either side of him. I love you as Paul. <laughs> I love you as Paul. I love this pop. She loves that. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, when he died, it was it was Passover. So rather than burn all the instruments of the crucifixion, they buried them so they could go home for the day. So right away, the followers of Christ started coming to that spot, and that angered the pagans. Do you know what a pagan is, Stella? No. Do you know what a pagan is? Who, me? Yeah. Yeah. What? People who didn't believe. People that didn't believe in yeah. Uh, the yeah, they weren't followers of yeah. Christ. So uh, that angered the pagans. They went to the emperor and said, Hey, emperor, you got to do something about these crazy Christians. So what he did was he built this giant marble temple over the spot of the crucifixion where all those, bless you, where all the instruments of the passion were buried. So for the next Whoa. 300 years, what that temple did was protect all of the instruments of the passion from the elements. So they weren't exposed to rainwater or sunlight for 300 years. So then Constantine legalized Christianity. Do you know who Constantine is? No. Okay. Do you know who Constantine is, Lily? No. Wow. Amelia? Yes. Who? He was the emperor who legalized Christianity. That's right. And his mother, do you know his mother's name? Helen. Helen. Saint Helena. Helen. His mother was a Christian, and she, being the emperor's mother, could do whatever she wanted to do. So what she wanted to do was go bring back the relics of the Passion to her home in Rome. So she went out. This is in the fourth century. She went to Jerusalem, and because people knew where Christ's relics were, they, uh, they pointed her in the direction of the temple that covered up all the relics. She had the temple torn down. And sure enough, as they were digging, they found three crosses, crown of thorns, the titulus, that's the I and R I. They found the spear that pierced Christ's side and all that stuff. And so she brought them back to Rome. Um, one thing was that while it might be nice to have the good thieves cross, nobody really wants that other guys. So they walked through Jerusalem looking for people who were sick and they touched the crosses to those people. And what they found was that some of them cured the sick. One of them cured the sick, uh, so that meant that was Christ's cross. So when she came back to Rome, she also brought back lots of dirt from the Holy Land, and that's what she used to build her house. So the foundation of this house, it's actually a church now, is built on Holy Land. So when we go in, we're actually going to be walking on Holy Ground. Is that cool, Estella? Is that cool? The microphone is cool, and the rainbow loom bracelet. Is it cool that we're walking on Holy Land? Is it cool, Lily? Amelia? Yeah. All right. So when we go into this church, we are going to see part of Christ's cross. Is that cool? No. Not cool. Not cool? No. We're going to see, uh, what else are we going to see? Part of the crown of thorns. Two thorns from the crown of thorns. We're going to see the good thief's cross. The good thief's cross. We're going to see a nail from the crucifixion. And... We're going to see Doubting Thomas's finger. And Estella is not excited. But I am. Let's go in and have a look. For the last 900 years or so, on the fourth Sunday of Lent, the Holy Father would traditionally come to this church to bless a golden rose. The blessed rose was then sent to a prominent Catholic, typically royalty, who showed loyalty to the Holy See. This Sunday became known as Rose Sunday, and it's the reason that your priest wears rose vestments today.
The church is gorgeous, but it's the chapel that's hidden away in the back that you really want to visit. Here we have part of the Titulus. That's the title above Christ's cross. Two thorns from the crown of thorns. One of the nails from the crucifixion. And wood from the true cross. Thank you.